Today's newsreel is being brought to you by the Robertson County Funeral Home. Well, as you know, property values were uh, definitely on the downward trend for some number of years. And uh, strangely enough, recently uh, they started to come up a little bit and that's coincided with uh, a recent reassessment of property values here in the county. So it looks like we're not gonna experience a great decline in property values. But anyway, I've come by Chris Trapper's office, the assessor of property here in Robertson County. He's gonna go over what the reassessments mean, what the letters mean in the mail, and what we can do if we disagree with the recent reappraisal of our homes. Uh, and of course, this year, 2013 is a year of reappraisal and uh, the assessment change notices were mailed, they were supposed to be mailed Friday from Nashville, uh, and, and we're kind of breaking news here. They were actually mailed yesterday. People are beginning to get them in the mail today. Wow. They're hitting the mailboxes today. Okay. Our phones are ringing and people are coming in. So people have got their assessment change notices. What's this, are they happy or unhappy? Uh, most of the people I've talked with, uh, it's, it's split. Uh, there's been a couple of people that were upset their value went down. Um, a couple of people were just neutral. They were wondering, you know, why did I get this? And we explained that it's a reappraisal year, so everyone gets them. And this is different from if you sell your house, right? Exactly. I mean, if you so. you could get like a rock bottom, you know, your house has gone down to three dollars, but you could still sell it for half a million. Oh, sure. Right. Yes, sir. What and the next do? guy would get hit with the tax, right? <laughs> <laughs> what we try to do is we try to establish market value of the property. Hopefully, what we say it's worth and what you could sell it for would be close to the same value. Of course, there's always motivations uh, between buyers and sellers that we we can't be aware of. We don't recognize in the market. Mm -hmm. So um, what has happened in the marketplace? So it, it, it looks like m most people are experiencing sort of something f in the flat area? Yes, sir. Most people, uh, and, and we're talking right now about residential properties, we're talking about homes. Uh, most people with a typical house being somewhere around 1,500 square foot, they're seeing anywhere from about an eight to $10,000 drop in value. Of course, if you live in a 1,000 square foot house, you may not see as much, but if your house is 4,000 square foot, uh, a, a very fine residential home, you probably saw more than that. So how does that affect how much I actually pay? You, your property taxes obviously are based on the value of the property. Yeah. Um, it depends on what the tax rate is set at this summer by the county commission. Reappraisals by law have to be revenue neutral, which is just a fancy way of saying that the amount of taxes that they bring in because of the reappraisal will be the same as they collected last year. I see. So, if my house is worth a hundred thousand yes, dollars, um, and you decide it's worth a hundred thousand dollars, and there's no change, of course. Right. Um, if it drops ten percent in value, then um, and let's say the tax rate stays the same, does that mean the amount I pay drops ten percent as well? Yes, sir. So it follows linear with it. Yes, sir. Your example there, where your property value stayed roughly the same. And then the tax rate fell. No, the tax rate stayed the same, but the values fell about ten percent. Yes, sir. There would be ten percent less money coming out of your pocket. So, if the house goes down ten percent, so does the amount I pay. Uh, yes, sir. Assuming the tax rate stays the right. same. Right. That's why I had. So I can go look at my old tax bill right. and see what it was last time yes, sir. or last year, and then compare it. You know, if your property you know, up there, I can just kind of quickly gauge how much more or less I'm going to save. Now, I'd like to clear up a rumor, because you're the perfect guy to clear up this particular rumor. Um, somebody once told me, don't ever fix up the outside of your house, because that'll be a dead giveaway, and they're going to raise your property taxes. Leave the outside, you know, a piece of garbage, but, you know, do all kinds of great stuff in the house, and don't ever let it in. Is there any real truth to that? Is that how it's done? There, it could be. Uh, if, if we, when we come by and look at your house, if there's no one home, and we see that, you know, the gutters are hanging down, the, the roof is curled up, the paint is peeling, um, we're not going to raise the value of that house. If it's like, Even if it's like gold-plated walls inside, you don't know. You can't. We may not know that. So there it is. Go plate your walls inside, but don't do any work to the outside of your home. You heard it from the tax assessor, right? There. <laughs> <laughs> so there is some truth to that rumor. There is truth to that. Interesting. Of course, on the other hand, you're letting the outside of your property deteriorate, and you know that, that's going to affect. Well, your everybody property. knows that you just wait until you're going to sell it, right. then you fix it up, and then up. then the next right. guy gets a heinous tax bill. <laughs> Gold walls, beautiful outside. <laughs> well, um, it was a gracious of you to take some time and, and clear that up. Is there anything else? Have I missed anything? Uh, the big thing we I was uh, saying 
the assessment change notices would be out Saturday. You would have this week to come in and informally appeal those values. Um, notices are just now getting out today, Tuesday. So we're going to extend that period of time through next week. If anybody has a question, come in and talk to us. And the Robertson County Board of Equalization, they will convene June the 3rd, which is always the first business day of June, and they will meet in the month of June only. If you want to formally appeal your property value, uh, that is the time to do it. If you wait after that, you, you've lost, you, you have no so recall. You mentioned one person that thought their property value had come down. Now, from a ta property tax perspective, that's what I want. Sure. But in this case, they were unhappy about it. They're probably thinking it's going to affect their resale value. But yes. let me ask you this. For that one individual, and there may be others, they want the tax assessor to show a certain higher value. Sure. Um, if, uh, if I come in and say, I think it's too low, I'd like you to reassess it, uh, would you come out and look at my home? I've got some really nice interior things to show you. Sure. Could that then bring it back up again? It could. It, it so, uh, and sometimes... And women are working in reverse. It could. I, I talked to a lady here right now. Before you got here today and she's thinking about it she said that uh, I might want you to come out and look there's things about my homes my home that I don't think you have appraised correctly and uh, we may have to go out and inspect that property and it's just like if you're asking for a decrease we're not going to automatically say we'll do it we'll have to look at it and see if we if there's a finding if we don't have the property listed correctly then we will correct it whether it raises it or lowers it so from a monetary standpoint, from a financial standpoint, what would your advice be to someone if they, if their property tax value went down? Would you advise them to fight it or leave it alone? What's your advice? I would advise people to just come in and compare what they know their property is, is like and about compared with what we have on the property. Uh, I mean, sure does it do them any good to raise it, really? Well, it could. Uh, sometimes people, I know realtors will look at that value. They will look at it. Mm -hmm. I also know that prospective buyers may come in and see what the county thinks their property is worth. So there has been instances where people have uh, asked us to, to raise the property value. So then if you were thinking about putting your home on the market, you may want to raise it up. But you if you're not going to, maybe not? Sure, possibly. You know, you may, and everybody's different. They have their own reasons for doing whatever they do. Um, I will say that I would suggest coming in, I would suggest any and everyone come in and make sure we have the property listed correctly. Uh, there's 36,000 pieces of property in the county. Could have made a mistake. And we could, we could make a mistake. I can, I mean, I, I can tell, Chris is clearly the nicest guy in the world. If you have a question, <laughs> I, I, you know, I find it hard to believe that he wouldn't just we'll be, be ready to answer that for you so they can call you and... Be glad to talk with anyone, uh, me or anyone on my staff. I have very good employees. I have seven folks working for me with uh, 100 years plus experience when you put it all together. Wow. And um, any any one of my office would be glad to help you. What's the, the general number for your office? 615-384-4311. And uh, just talk to us. I can be emailed chris.trauber, T-R-A-U-G-H-B-E-R, at C-O-T. .tn.gov. <laughs> well, it's a pleasure. Thank you, sir. Uh, you have a great afternoon. You too. Well, there you have it, Robertson County. I hope that handled at least some of your questions concerning these uh, tax changes. Uh, I'll put the uh, phone number and email address uh, to reach Chris below. This has been Jim Ball reporting for Smoky Barn News. The Robertson County Funeral Home has been serving families for a quarter century. When it's time to celebrate and remember, to honor, in loving memory, the Robertson County Funeral Home.